So let's go ahead and launch the Splash Top for Good app and immediately it will check in with the Good server and prompt me for my password. This is the password that I had originally provisioned when I first set up my iPad. And once that's successfully accepted, I'm presenting with the Splash Top login screen. Uh, here I can enter the server location and my Active Directory credentials. What I'll go ahead and do instead is show you our instant demo. This is a demo server that we have set up in Amazon uh, that we have both uh, desktops and applications loaded. And uh, here's a list of the applications that we support. Um, so what I'll do right now though is just give you the experience of a full desktop. And so let me go ahead and check that. Now I'll just click on that. And what this is doing is uh, Splash Top Center is authenticating me to a Windows RDS server that's been configured to provide me with a Windows 7 virtual desktop. And there you are. And of course, any applications that I could be using in this environment in front of my desktop, I'd be using now from an iPad, whether they be shrink wrapped, customized applications, web apps, just a straight office productivity, fit client, or even thin client applications. All can be available to me. Uh, now, most of us are familiar with PowerPoint, so let me go ahead and actually show you PowerPoint. Uh, just go into slideshow mode, and immediately you'll see that it's exactly the same workflow and experience if, as if you were in front of a desktop. Uh, builds work, if you had embedded videos, they would work as well. Um, now, of course, that's very different to many of the mobile apps that allow you to present PowerPoint. Um, a lot of those features actually don't work very well. Um, so Jeff mentioned uh, one of our unique user features at Splashtop, and that's customizable shortcuts. So let me go ahead and select that from the bottom of our control bar there on the iPad. And immediately what you'll see um, displayed is a selection of transparent icons. Now these icons represent different functions of a product. For example, uh, open a folder, save a file, that kind of thing. Now given we're in uh, PowerPoint, let me go ahead and select a different profile there at the top. You'll see a selection and I'm going to choose the second one there from the left. And that's the PowerPoint slideshow. When I select that, you'll see that the icons have changed. And of course, these icons now represent different functions because we're in a different application, of course. Um, now remember all of these uh, icons are available in those profiles you saw at the top. They're fully customizable. Uh, you can change their function, you can change their look and feel, you can change where they appear on the screen. But as you can see, they do what you would expect them to do, move forward and back slide, stop the slideshow, restart the slideshow. Um, I can pick up the pen icon on the right and draw around something for you as well. And of course, if I were in a different application, I could just go back and select a different profile at the top of the screen there. Um, maybe I'm browsing, maybe I'm in a media player on Windows. Make those icons disappear, I can put them back. I can even, if uh, they're obscuring something on the screen, change their transparency. I just click on that gear icon at the top and just slide the transparency uh, slide bar along. So that's PowerPoint being used on an iPad and uh, using one of our unique features, customizable shortcuts. Let me go ahead now and just close up PowerPoint down and go into a browser. I can choose IE there on the taskbar. And immediately what you'll see is a full screen IE browser uh, in which I can navigate. Now this is the Splashtop website. I can go to a section here that we have a number of video demos recorded. Let me just zoom in for you there, there that video demos link. Click on that and you will see a web page with a number of video demos that show how Splashtop can be used with, for example, a CAD application. You can see there actually we're using the joystick control, which we didn't explore in customizable shortcuts, a healthcare application using Flash or PowerPoint on an iPad, even a .NET application or connecting to a desktop which has Citrix Receiver installed. Let me go back to the Patient Now application and just fast forward to the more interesting section. So you can imagine here that a physician is with a patient in the front office and just walking through some confidential um, test results, maybe x-rays or CT scans. And these are, of course, being streamed directly from the office computer in the, in the back office. Um, and so there's zero data leak because there's no data being transferred onto this iPad. And in fact, we also prohibit the use of cut and paste as well as remote printing. So there you have it, Splashtop being used with a number of business applications within the good environment. And just as a reminder, you can go ahead and download this same um, demo by 
downloading the Splashtop for Good app and choosing the online demo. Thank you.